Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. We have another pro game by Seiko Starcraft. We have Golden versus Select. This is on MLG Whirlwind. So I don't know if this is for an MLG tournament or not. Regardless, don't matter that much to me. We still have Select, the amazingly fun Terran player versus Golden. I I think there was was it Star Tail Golden? I don't, I'm pretty sure this isn't that golden. It's 4040 golden. Whatever that means. But, ZVT, my favorite, playing it both ways. Gotta swing both ways and have fun. Still having some more drinks on a lazy Sunday afternoon. Lots of drinks, actually. But it's alright. It makes me feel better. Don't decry myself to sleep at night. Nothing strange yet. I'm always looking at these games, just hoping something strange happens. Like, oh, it's a six pool. Like, oh, it's a proxy barracks. But these aren't hardcore Korean players. Otherwise, there's actually a really good chance that'll happen. Instead, we're just going to see a CC first out of select, probably on the high ground. And Golden likely just going to be going for that their hatch first. So I'm going to speed it up because. We know what's going to happen. We know this story. We've seen it so many times. What we want to know is who's doing the crazy cool stuff and why that matters. I guess I can talk a little bit about hotkeys while we're doing this. I do see the number four for the hatches for the Zerg player. I do the exact same thing. I usually put hatches four, queens five, army in one, two, and three. And anything I need to scout down at the far end or anything for upgrades. He's got the uh, spawning pool as number zero, likely, so that means you can get speed fast. If we looked at select, five for his command center, which is usually the same for me. He's got his scouting SCV up there as number six, and production at number four. Whoopsies. I usually leave my production on three and four, attacking units on one and two, so it's usually like factory, because I usually play mech while I do bio. Factory starport, three and four. And then one and two for my armies, five and beyond as my production and macro buildings. Select will scout his opponent really fast. His command center and barracks are about to finish. Mm. Yes, drinks. You'll see that there's no gas, nothing funky. Couple of zerglings, two queens about to pop. On this side, we should just be saying, yep, the bunker at the front. Once there's an orbital, it'll drop the middle and left off. We have a gas down. It's going to let me get his factory here really soon. So, yeah. CVT and all its beauty. One gas going down at the natural. Queen's about to pop. Second queen actually queued up on that side. And a second queen queued up on this side. So he really wants to have those queens as defense and probably focus a lot more on his creep spread. Even as a Zerg player, I'm usually not that inclined to get out myself Queen super faster. Nice jukin. Good jukin. No. Get spine to the face. And you stopped. So units wise, we should see the Zerg slightly ahead in workers there by about six. Mule call downs though are in place. Reactor going. Should be finished up about the same time as the factory. Oh, go, 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 go. Looks like Select had to take a potty break. He's fine again. Got supply blocked on a giant round of drones. He needs to get himself out some overlords. There they are being produced. Speed on the way. This is something you guys can keep in mind if you're playing it. I know you're not playing at these guys' level, but I do the same thing. If I find myself supply blocked all of a sudden, go check your upgrade facilities and see if there's an upgrade you can get. Because you got this money building up. Sometimes that's a good opportunity to get out another upgrade that you originally wanted, just cause. One more SCV going to scout, likely going to check and see if- Oh, no, we turned it around. So you say likely to check and see if there is a, a third base on the way. That's pretty important to see if it's going to be a two base Roach Baneling Bust, or if he's going to go for a three base Macro into something like maybe Mutas. We shall see. We don't even have a lair yet, so it don't matter. Bailing nest. We'll see if that's a little bit more defensive. There's no roaches out. There's not many slings out right now. He does need some with the speed to be able to help ward away any of these hellions.
Looks like he did cancel that one creep tumor, which is really smart. Gotta keep that creep moving. Handful of aliens out on the map. Lings with speed is now finished. Not a pile. Would be enough to get a surround on these Hellions if Select is very, very careless. But this creep spread right now from 40-40 Golden, pretty decent. Should be getting it right up to the middle of the map really fast. Have this base and his third taken really quickly. Do we get a macro CC? Yes, we do have a macro CC finish for Select. It's going to help him a lot right now as he transitioned into a bio play. And it's plus 1-1 one, one on the way. Looking at... The overall macro, the Zerg player is really not that far ahead, and I don't think he's got down any Evo chambers yet. So his macro is really kind of far behind, and he doesn't have any upgrades. It looks like he doesn't care though. It looks like he's going to go for a bust, which could work because there's nothing here. Oh man, select. Don't let it end this way. Oh no. Lift up the wall. There's too many Bane links still. Oh man. And he's supply blocked too. Horribly supply blocked. That's that's essentially just death. There's death. Oh, Bane links go to town, baby. There's actually a couple of games now I've cast from Select where he just kind of gets caught building up this very greedy macro opening just as his production facilities are finishing up and gets busted. Interesting play out of Golden. It's a strategy that I actually want to learn a little bit more of just so that way if I get tired of playing StarCraft for a day and I want to win some games I can just go kill Terrans. But hey, who's to say? Pretty fun game. I hope that Select learned stuff from this. Even with the Italians out on the map, he had no idea this was coming. So I've got to give credit to Golden for just a good, fun little strategy. Thanks, everybody, for tuning in. Psycho StarCraft, signing off.